जद जद आचरति श्रेष्ठ वॉट ए ग्रेट मैन लीडिंग पर्सन वॉट ही परफॉर्मस कॉमन मैन फॉलो जद जद आचरित श्रेष्ठ तद तद एवं इतर रोजन इतर मैन सी रोज इनफेरियर एंड कॉमन पर्सन दे फॉलो सजद प्रमाण कुरु दे वॉट एवर स्टैंडर्ड ही सेट्स बाय एग्जाम्पल आर्ट्स प्रमाण लोकस तदनु वर्तते ऑल द वर्ल्ड परस्यूज कॉमन पीपल दे फॉलो दैट पाथ वॉट ए लीडिंग पर्सन डूइंग ग्रेट पर्सन डूइंग दे ऑल फॉलो सो आई रीड फ्रॉम परपट ऑफ आवर परम गुरुदेव श्री प्रभु महाराज people in general always require a leader who can teach the public by practical behavior a leader cannot teach the public to stop smoking if he himself smokes lord chaitanya said that a teacher should behave properly before he begins teaching one who teaches in that way is called acharya or the ideal teacher therefore a teacher must follow the principles of shastra scripture to teach the common man the teacher cannot manufacture rules against the principles of revealed scriptures the revealed scriptures like manu sanhita and similar others are considered the standard books to be followed by human society thus the leaders teaching should be based on the principles of such standard shastra the shastra means vedic literature one who desires to improve himself must follow the standard rules as they are practiced by the great teachers the shrimad bhagavatam also affirms that one should follow the footsteps of great devotees and that is the way of progress on the path of spiritual realization the king or the executive head of the state the father and the school teacher are all considered to be natural leaders of the innocent people in general all such natural leaders have a great responsibility to their dependents therefore they must be conversant with standard books and moral and spiritual codes is very clear very understandable and this verse bhagwan himself speaking jad jad acharati shreshtas shreshta means he one superior uh, top most person in a best position a leader whatever acharan acharan means you know acharan in our language is very easy to understand acharan is what he does uh, what he sets example that is called acharan tat tat eva itaro jana ha itar means he lower persons common persons and such as pramanam kurute whatever he sets example by his own actions common people they follow everybody they follow this is very very important verse who is speaking this bhagwan himself speaking lord krishna in every page of bhagavad gita read shri bhagwan ubacha shri bhagwan is speaking bhagwan ubacha so lord krishna himself is described as bhagwan in every page of bhagavad gita so according to our vedic literatures there is so many uh, incarnations of a 
भगवान भगवान आज सो मेनी इनकारनेशन लाइक द टेन इनकारनेशन आर वेरी वेरी फेमस वी सी दैट इन जयदुल गुस्सा में से गीतो गोविंद दैट टेन इनकारनेशन आर डिस्क्राइब्ड वॉट इज द टेन इनकारनेशन हु कैन टेल Yes. First one is the fish. Second one is the the, 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 the tortoise. Then the boar. Then the nasinga de nasinga de. Then bara bara. Then nasinga de. Then baman de. Asuram, Ram, Balram. Guru Krishna is after. Then. Then Balki to come. Acha. What is the incarnation? You skipped something. Else. There is the incarnation, as you told, the ten incarnations in the Sarvata Stotra is described, and there is so many incarnations, unlimited numbers. In Bhagavatam, saying that Bhagwan's incarnations, avatar hi asankhya, uncountable in numbers. But the main chief incarnation, this is what the Savta Stotram is explaining. So there is one incarnation of Lord Ram. Bitter as he, Dikshurane, Dikpati, Kamaniyam, Dasamukha Mauli, Baling, Ramaniyam, Kesa Badhrita, Rama Sarira, Jai Jagadi, Sahare. So this is. Lord Ram's incarnation, and this verse, what we are reading, Bhagwan himself speaking here about himself. The Bhagwan himself is teaching us by his own example. As we see that, whatever example is, uh, he sets commandment. They follow. This is Lord Ram. It's called a Marijada Purushottama. Marijada means the embodiment of the etiquette, acharan, everything. Bhagwan's all incarnations have different different purpose. Lord Krishna Himself established the Bhagavata, the how He is supreme Lord. He is showing the universal form. He is saying, "I am the source of everything. I am Bhagwan." But in Lord Ram's incarnation, same Krishna is known. Lord Krishna's Paravastha incarnation is Lord Ram. The many incarnations, Lord Ram is the one of the Paravastha incarnation. So, in when he is in the Ram, he appears as Lord Ram. He set the example for common people to follow Varnasram Dharma. How somebody will follow? He sets the example. Once Lakshman, you know Ramayana very well. So Lakshman, brother Lakshman asked Lord Ram, "Sir, brother, I have something to share with you, which I heard from our Guru Dev, Bhai Sister Rishi." Also, father confirmed this, Maharaj Dasrat, that you are supreme personality of God, and you are Bhagwan. <coughs> Lord Ram closed his ears. Never tell this. I am not Bhagwan. I am only the son of a Maharaj Dasrat. Uh, I am born in this dynasty, and my duty is to follow. Uh, They are my etiquette, my duty, the words of my father to keep their image. That is my main duty. So he, Lord Ram himself, doesn't accept that he is the supreme personality of God. But you see that this is how Bhagwan himself he will set example that I am supreme, like Bhagwan Krishna is saying. 
नमांग कर्माणि लिंपन्ति न मे कर्म फले स्पृहा आई डोंट हैव टू न मे पार्थास्ति कर्तव्यम त्रिषु लोकेषु किञ्चन नाना वाक्तम अवाक्तव्यम वर्त एव च कर्मणि इटली ओ पार्थ ओ अर्जुन न मे पार्थ अस्ति कर्तव्यम आई डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग आई हैव नो कर्तव्य लेफ्ट व्हिच इज भगवान he don't have to do anything he doesn't have to do anything nam parthasti kartavyam trishu lokeshu kinchana there is nothing in this world with that there is some obligation some duty that i should perform there is no such work nana vaptam avaptavyam vart eva cha karma there is i am not under control of any duty any karma or anything else because i am supreme lord एगेन इज सेइंग जद्यम न वर्तयम जातु कर्मणि तंद्रिय मम बत्मानु वर्तन्ते मनुष्य पार्थ सर्वसह जद्यम न वर्त इफ आई डोंट आई डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग एल्स बिकॉज़ आई एम सुप्रीम लॉर्ड बट इफ आई डोंट डू अदर पीपल विल फॉलो माय फुटस्टेप्स जद्यम न वर्तयम जातु कर्मण्य तंद्रिय मम बत्मानु वर्तते मम वर्तम माय पाथ मनुष्य पार्थ सर्वस द कॉमन मैन विल फॉलो माय पाथ ओ ही इज नॉट डूइंग विल नॉट डू दैट्स व्हाई भगवान हिमसेल्फ है प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड टीचिंग ऑल दो ऑल द इनकारनेशंस ऑफ लॉर्ड भगवान ऑल द इनकारनेशंस ही सेट्स एग्जांपल but in krishna incarnation mostly he is lila purushottam he came to release the lila with his devotees with his associates he established that he is raso vaisa rasayam hevayam labdhanandi bhavati he is the embodiment of the melos devotees devotional melo being bhagavan he is releasing the devotion of the devotees he is releasing the rasa and he performed the leela with his devotees with mother jasoda's childhood pastimes makhan chori leela with friends he is doing the pulling bhojan in forest leela with gopi ji perform ras leela and other sweet pastimes so whatever pastimes krishna is doing what is that leela purushottama to perform so much leela pastimes and release the devotional melo of is devotees this is the prime uh, activities in krishna although he set example also everything but prime main business what krishna did is to set example how i love my devotees that's why krishna never discarded anyone because he loves his devotees he is controlled by the love for him prem is priority than any vedic etiquette or this that obligation nothing is there he can do everything for his devotees sake of devotees for sake of his devotees arjun what to speak of brajavasis if he left brindavan he stayed in mathura why he did not want that brajavasis should be harmed by anything after kansa was killed Kans Kansas father-in-law was who? Jara Sangha. He wanted to destroy the whole Braja because Krishna proved himself that this is very secret thing. We heard from our Guru Dev because Krishna proved himself that he is not son of Nanda Maharaj Dasoda Maya. That's why Braja Bhumi saved. Krishna himself is. did not reveal his real identity although he is the son of nanda maharaj and jasoda maya not in basudev devaki but he hid his identity to save the brajavasis this is his hidden past time and that's why he did not return to gokul so that jarasan would doubt who oh, is the main persons here he would attack gokul dham krishna loves gokul brindavan so much He did not want that his brother Bhumi should be harmed by these demons. He loves so much. 
He sacrificed his life. He stayed his Mathura and Dwarka Dham to save the Braja Bhumi. This is how Krishna loves the Braja Bhumi. But he always remembers. Always remembered Braja Bhumi. You see the, all the pastimes after Krishna left Gokul and went to Mathura and Dwarka. Always crying and crying for his dear Braja Bhumi. He missed so much. If we read the book, uh, he cannot live, cannot give up. Brinda Banam Parityajya Padamikam Nagatsati. One step he cannot go away from Brinda He cannot give up. Lord Krishna Himself cannot give up any devotee who loves Him. Even a demon came, Putana, to kill. Because she took the form of a mother, Krishna gave the place of a real mother who can be so merciful. Never rejected anyone because he is not obliged for any rules and regulations. Not obliged. He is showing, establishing supremacy. And Prem is prominent in Krishna. That he loves his devotees and he is Bhagavan. Bhaga means Prem. Ban means who is controlled by the pure love. He is Krishna. Only by Prem you can control him. Not by any other things. If you follow so many rules, regulations or anything else Krishna. Krishna himself saying in Bhagavad Gita. Patram puspam phalam toyam Yome bhaktya prayatsati. Tadam bhakti uparutam asnami prayatatmana. Even somebody only offering one leaf, one tulsi leaf, one flower, little bit of water, even one fruit only, of course, nothing he has. Till Krishna accepts that. He so much, but bhaktya, with love, somebody offering, he accepts. So this Lila is prominent in Krishna. Lila, that we call Lila Purusottama. He cannot never reject anyone. In Lord Ram's incarnations, which he could not fulfill, he fulfilled in Krishna. Let me give some examples. Lord Ram. Vishwamitra, huh? Vishwamitra Rishi performing so much Vijagya. Uh, because he is Rishi and uh, he will not take violent actions against the demons. He could kill the demons. Tadaka and other demons were there disturbing, destroying the Jagya. Vishwamitra was not less, very powerful, very uh, He could kill these demons. Because he will not take the action violence. He is taking the bow and his jagya will be destroyed. The demons want that. The rishi will become angry. And if you become angry, then whatever sadhana you are doing, jagya will be fruitless. That's why he did not disturb himself. He went to approach Maharaj Dasarath. Give your sons. Ram Lakshman. They are very young. Just came from Gurukul after so many years. So affectionate father, Dasrath Maharaj cannot. Uh, in Ram Lila, we see Maharaj Dasrath loves Ram more than Mother Kosali. He could not survive Ram's separation, left his body. Could not survive. That's why his name is more famous as Dasarathi Ram. Nobody tells so much Kosalya Nandan. Dasarath Nandan always tell because more. Affection is prominent about father's affection. He did not want that his son Ram Lakshman should go with Vishwamitra to fight. But he is following the uh, path of etiquette. He is king. He has to help these rishis to perform the Jagya. He is king. He is supposed to protect. At the end, he, was, he agreed. To send Ram and Lakshman 
with Viswamitras. After they killed the demons and made this all the rishis fearless, protected fully. After that, Viswamitra took them. There was an invitation. Swayambar Sava. This was his secret plan. He brought where? Mithila. The assembly of uh, Maharaj Janak. There was the Swayambar Sabha of uh, Goddess Sita. Sita Devi. And Swayambar said, Vishwamitra, she took Ram Lakshman from there directly. And there. So there, Lord Ram was so beautiful. He is Bhagavan himself. Koti Kandarpa Kamaniya. Kandarpa Koti Kamaniya Vishesa Sobham. Tulasi Das, his great devotee of Lord Ram, how is describing Lord Ram's beauty? Raghubara Mukha Samana Raghubara Mukha Baniya. There is no other, other analogy for that. If you want to know how beautiful Lord Ram is, Lord Ram's beauty, his face is only like Lord Ram. There is no analogy like lotus or moon or any comparison. He failed to explain. When we sing the childhood versions of Lord Ram, Tumaka Chalata Rama Chandra, Bajata Penjaniya, he describing Tulsidas. Very beautifully describing. Lord Ram is so beautiful, unparalleled beauty, Bhagavan. Asamardha, Saundarji, unparalleled. Nobody equal to him in beauty, neither can be superior. He is Bhagavan, so beautiful. And Lord Ram came there and he, uh, there, there was a condition. He has to break that, lift that dhanu and bind that rope, pratyancha, and then the dhanu broke that. Then he had to marry with the goddess Sita. Sita was the offered the garland. This is how he married to Mother Sita. But that time, in that assembly, all the Sakhis of Goddess Sita, all were present there. And they were all attracted to Lord Ram. In their heart, all young girls, they wanted Lord Ram as their husband. They had desire. But Lord Ram is Marijada Purushottam, only except one wife. What to do? Bhagavan knows. Anybody offers him anything, he will fulfill that desire. In Bhagavad Gita, he is saying in this thing. Jejatha maam prapadyante tanks tatheva bhajamyaham. As one offers his love and I will reciprocate accordingly. But this was unfulfilled, could not fulfill that very moment. And all the Janakpuri kanyas. All the uh, girls are from Janakpuri, friends of a goddess Sita. All they, they were born as gopis and Krishna accepted them. Krishna did Ras Lila with them, accepted them, fulfilled their desire. Krishna became their beloved because they had love for Krishna. This is how he fulfilled. And similarly, when Lord Ram performed after Goddess Sita, you know the Ramayana is like this. When Lord Ram, uh, after banishing Goddess Sita again to Balmiki Ashram, I will just not, I not, I will speak in sequence, but according to context. After there was. Uh, Doubt came. Some of the subject because he was a king at that time. In Lord Ram's pastime, one thing is prominent. That is giving Bhagavan. That is Ramatto and Patitto. As Bhagavan Ramatto is Bhagavan Ram, but Ramatto was prominent, or Patitto was prominent. Which was prominent? The three different different actions he has to perform. 
आज भगवान इज लॉर्ड राम एज भगवान भगवान इज फॉर एवरी वन और नॉट एवरी वन इज भगवान लॉर्ड राम एंड सेकेंड इज इज हजबेंड पति तो पति ऑफ गॉड इज सीता पति तो थर्ड इज राम आज किंग आइडियल ब्रदर आज सॉन सो मेनी थिंग्स आर देर बट दिस थ्री आर प्रोमिनेंट आइडियल सॉन ही हेज टू परफॉर्म लीला आज ब्रदर ही हेज टू परफॉर्म लीला आज भगवान ही हेज टू परफॉर्म लीला ऑल लीला से टू डू बट ही हेज टू फॉलो मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट रामत्व वॉज नॉट प्रोमिनेंट इफ ही वुड परफॉर्म द लीला एज भगवान he cannot reject anyone anybody accept with love he has to accept even you would not be able to reject god is sita no not possible because as a king raj dharma he did banish because raj dharma raja for him is personal life is not a so prominent not important first business is rajya the kingdom is all the kingdom is your subject for their happiness if the subjects will residents will have subjects will have doubt on the king they will not follow the king the thing our king is not ideal our king character is not proper so they will not follow so now this what happening how many resident because our kings so called leaders they are corrupt they are not following the path of ramayan they are not following the path of lord ram maharaj ambaris or maharaj parichit or maharaj dhritara uh, yudhishthir maharaj or lord krishna they are not following they are corrupt राजन्य रूपेण वेरी लो क्लास ऑफ शूद्र दे बिकमिंग द किंग लीडर्स इन कॉलेज युगा वेरी मृच्छ मृच्छ मीन वेरी वेरी लो क्लास शूद्र कंटामिनेटेड कॉन्सियनेस कंटामिनेटेड लाइफ फुल ऑफ सेल्फिश मोटिव वेरी वेरी लो ग्रेडेड पर हु इज इलेक्टिंग देम हु इज इलेक्टिंग देम we are electing them because our consciousness is very very low kalo sudra sambhava because most of people in kali yuga are sudra and they elect only sudras to be king very few are in good consciousness if the majority people are majority persons in kali yuga their sudra consciousness sudra means only self interest the lament anchoring only for their demands of body and only for self is fully of that sudra mentality to so, kali yuga majority people are like this that's why they are electing their king as one of the major sudra mrachya mrachya is a very very low graded they are like thieves rogues low class contaminated consciousness fully they are the leaders how will you expect peace king should be like lord ram the test comes the always test comes that the king supposed to be always ideal he is sacri- he is ready to sacrifice everything his personal life everything is sacrificed he knows that if lord ram because sita maya is shakti of lord ram how much pain lord ram getting by separation he gave up his bed to sleep sleeping in the floor gave up all type of enjoyment when sita and god sita left but he had to do this why raj dharma राज धर्म बिकॉज राजा इज बिकमिंग राजा इज नॉट इजी थिंग दैट्स आई थिंक आवर प्रेजेंट मिनिस्टर नॉट अवे फ्रॉम इज लाइक सन्यास लाइफ 
Porque quer ser aquele país aí, Britinho. The person who is renounced life, like nothing is there, so he can sacrifice everything. He can really inflict all the discipline or rules, regulation because he has can sacrifice. A Raja should be able to sacrifice everything because devotees, the subjects, they develop some doubt. Lord Ram has to set this example. He himself went there to check. If only the words of a wasser man, Lord Ram could investigate, send the Gupta Chara, the spy, to check what is going on. He found that uh, this wasser man had doubt on his wife. And he took the example of Lord, I am not Ram. I cannot accept to spend one night outside the house. I am not Ram. They are taking the example. If he, in, before the vision of the subjects, king's position becomes inferior, the subject started to think, the king is not high class, low class. So what we can get peace? Then they will never can get happiness, peace. <coughs> but Lord Ram has taken vow before all his ancestors, his father, forefather, all the great kings in his Raghukul. Raghu kil gatha sada chali aai pran jai par bachan na jai. Even if necessary, uh, required, can sacrifice own life. He that kings, that type of him, Lord Ram. He promised, he took a second vow to keep the subject, uh, all the residents to really happy in proper position. That's Lord Ram found himself, he went to investigate. That spy, that Gupta Charu was hiding something. Lord Ram himself went in disguise and really found out. It is like forest fire spreading all over the kingdom. He had no alternative than to sacrifice. And Mother Sita was fully, she was fully ready to do anything for her husband as a queen. To sacrifice her personal life, everything. After few months, she had to give birth to two babies. Still in that condition, she agreed to help, to support husband, the king, as a queen, and everything fully ready to sacrifice. Who can be like sacrificed? What is the chief teachings from Ramayana? If you cannot sacrifice, then you cannot really follow the path of dharma. Which is Lord Krishna himself saying, Sarva dharma paritejya maam ekam saranam praja. That ekam, embodiment of dharma, Bhagavan. If you are ready to sacrifice everything, what your so-called dharma, you telling, oh, my family business is my first dharma. How Lord Ram sacrificed his personal family life, everything sacrificed. You could tell that, oh, first dharma is fight to protect my wife. Second dharma is fast, I should be happy. My comfort is fast priority. People in this college, they will decide like this. But no, he sacrificed. It's always happened that a person who is following the path of dharma, and those who support helping them, real associates, you see, Lord Krishna himself established the dharma. The, all the adharma destroyed, all the demons were killed. And finally, Maharaj, Yudhishthir became the king, established dharma all over the world, peace and harmony dharma. Who helped it? Who assisted Bhagavan in this Pandavas? They sacrificed their life for this. Twelve years they were in forest. They all suffering, they accepted. They could defeat Duryodhana immediately. Why not they did? Because Bhagavan wants that to establish dharma. This is not the way. To establish dharma, we have to tolerate, we have to sacrifice. That's why Krishna is saying, Sarva dharman paritejya maam ekam saranam praja. 
In your life, Bhagavan should be everything for you. Lord Ram should be everything for you. Lord Krishna should be everything for you. In that position, one somebody is qualified to go to Bhagavan. Otherwise, you will remain here. When you are not ready to sacrifice everything, to give up everything for Krishna or for Lord Ram, you cannot go back to Vaikunda. Vaikunda you can go, but you cannot go to the abode like Sake Dham or Ayodhya or, uh, or Golok Vrindavan. You cannot go. It's only qualification. You sacrifice everything. So for the subjects, for, the, for their benefit, to establish the real uh, dharma, to teach them a proper lesson, Lord Ram sacrificed his life. He banished Lord Sita. But we see that Lord Krishna himself, because his incarnation is different, Parpad Bhagavan has all incarnations different. He did not, he cannot, Bhagavan cannot tell this to Srimati Radharani or anything. That cannot. Krishna himself has to Krishna has to himself be submissive, bow down, not because he is himself controlled by pure love. Different incarnation, different purpose. After that, the time came to perform Aswamedha Jagya for spreading the glory of the kingdom for the whole. Eh? Lord Ram is emperor. He wanted to assume a jagya. One who wants to become an emperor. He is the king above all the kings. Whether all the kingdoms, anything existing in the whole planet, they are subordinate to Lord Ram or not. It will be proved if that king can perform assume a jagya. Even to a day, also the horse will be uh, sent. And all the king, they have to honor and greet and surrender themselves. After that, the horse will return. If somebody challenges that horse, the Lord Ram will come to this point. So during that period, Guru Basista suggested Lord Ram, without wife, without Dharma Patni, you cannot perform this. You bring God Sita back to Ayodhya. I cannot do. Lord Ram told, I cannot. Because he is now doing everything. Asamadha joining also Jagya doing for the kingdom, for the Rajya. Also he sacrificed God Sita for the what to do. Then Lord, Lord Ram asked Guru Basista, Please search in scripture, there must be some alternative, some substitute. So in the place of Goddess Sita, golden deities of Sita yeah, made and they were installation. Lord Ram himself did the Pran Pratishtha. If Lord Ram inviting Goddess Sita, the Sita will appear there. The golden deities, they immediately they became Goddess Sita. And they are same mood like a Goddess Sita. Same mood, loving mood for Lord Ram is my beloved. So all these golden each year, thousands of years it is done. So all the deities, because it installs the Pran Pratishta by Lord Ram and Guru Vasishta, all were hard loving mood for Lord Ram. But they are in deity form and Lord Ram could not uh, communicate with them. Lord Ram only Eka Patni Brata, only one wife in one that lifetime. So all these golden deities they were appeared as a gopis in Vrindavan. They appeared as a gopis in Vrindavan. And Krishna fulfilled the desire, Lord Ram himself and Krishna, no different. Fulfilled in the desire in Ras Leela. 
all these gopis another contest when lord ram you know mother kai kai everybody they know this general story ramayan that mother kai kai because of mantra uh, that crooked bad servant and thought of kai kai something polluted the mind of kai kai that boon supposed to ask uh, the ask in this way so that lord ram had to go to forest and bharat would be this is everybody knows but actually this is not the reality what we heard from our guru mother kaiki was lord ram was more dear to mother kaiki than mother kosali once in childhood lord ram asked mother kaiki give me one boon very young then mother kaiki is lab sitting lord ram asked that mother give me one boon when i will become the time to come for my coronation match uh, i said i supposed to be king that time you ask from father rai should go to forest mother begged to why i have performed my leela i have appeared in this world to perform my leela without that leela will not be complete the so mother kai ki started to cry the lord ram asked you have to give your words promise i want this from you the mother kai ki promised lord ram so whatever she did mother kai ki only for lord ram nobody knows this whole world condemned her bharat condemned rejected you are not mother everybody condemned but mother kai ki sacrificed her own affection to lord ram because of lord ram who knows this everybody know that they blame mother kai ki without kai ki ramayana would not happen mantra hard crooked intelligence she did remind it when mantra again and again insisted oh you got some books in that when dasar maharaj dasar went to assist the devi gods devotas that then you were driving you are god some boon you helped maharaj dasar you are you fighter warrior you drew the chariot and carefully saved the life of maharaj dasar in that battle and he promised to boon stream when time you asked that oh, this is time now oh how are you mother you are your son should be king why because he met servant of a okay she was speaking in favor of her kai ki why why you think that you will be happy ah huh? mother kai ki told i am very happy because my ram is going to be so you are foolish me foolish mother oh son you want to be servant so then kai ki told what can you do oh you have two bonds to ask you ask the ram should go to forest and then the other one my son bharat to me ki ask this to again and again mantra telling but kai ki told you are telling right i will ask this but why because lord ram promised to she promised to lord ram that's why she asked not that she follow such a great queen such an absolute love for lord ram can somebody follow the messengers instruction no this is idea you should understand this that's why mother kai ki is not blame for this this was the desire of lord ram so after that maharaj dasarath the separation of queen lord ram went to forest the separation of lord ram could not stand chanting hari ram ram the lord ram came to the forest why came he purified the whole planet. forest went everywhere is bhagavan himself purified 
and to meet so many diseases, he came to Dandakaranya. So in Dandakaranya forest, there are so many races doing the Vasya austerity, chanting Ashtadasachari Mantra, 18 syllable Mantra, <coughs> Gopal Mantra, doing austerity. Why? That Mantra is for to become copies. To solve Krishna as a Paramar mood, Krishna is my beloved. Get that mood, that Mantra is chanting. So they are doing authority, austerity to get perfection in that chanting so that they will get Bhagavan Krishna as their husband. The Lord Ram came in Dandakara and they are darsan. They are they are already in their perfection stage. They are all attracted to Lord Ram. He receives. Oh, this is our beloved Krishna. Lord Ram told, I in this incarnation I cannot. Fulfill your desires. You will all be born as gopis in Buddha. You fulfill their desire, they took part in Panchayati Ras, Sarad Ras, Artam Sijin Ras in Buddha. This is how uh, this Leela happened. Another contest, Pillar Rama left the forest. Left for the forest, went to uh, Banwas. Then Bharat returned from the uncle's house. And so before this, another thing in that contest of Lord Ram's words, why he asked this thing. Dasarath Maharaj's promise is there. Maharaj Dasarath <coughs> not only gave words to Queen Kaikeyi, also he gave words to his victor and his friend, Maharaj Vaikaya. Once uh, Maharaj Dasarath went to uh, Mrigaya, coming, still supervising the kingdom, and crossed the border, came to their fathers, I think Gandhara kingdom. There was the king, Mitra, his friend, the king, Maharaj Vaikaya. Maharaj Dasarath became guest there. And the king Vaikaya engaged his daughter in service of her Maharadasrat. Amaradasrat was very, very uh, pleased. Amaradasrat wanted, asked that I want Kaikeyi to give offer Kaikeyi to me. I want her as my queen. But at that time, his father, her father asked, You have to promise. That the son of Kaikeyi would be the king. The Maharaj was in Dilam. He has married already hundreds of queens for no children. That's why Maharaj told, if there will be a son will be born from Kaikeyi, and it's really he will be king. Because there is no, I have no children, no sons there. No. That time, no, none of the Kosalya Sulita, nobody had child. So this is what Maharaj Dasrath forgot. He remembered these words is given to and Mother Kaike knew this. So when Mantra reminded this, the two things Mother Kaike remembered. One, Maharaj Dasrath's promise to her father. And another promise which Mother Kaike herself gave to This is the reason. Because Lord Ram not only followed the words of her father to keep the Satya truth, because their dynasty is famous for Sankalpa Satya, following the path of merger and truth. He wanted to keep the image of Lord Ram of his father. And Kaiti, as chest lady, chest women, queen, Mahapatani, her duty was to help the king to keep his promise so that there will be no kalanka stain will be in that dynasty. Prana jaya or bhajana na jaya. Raghukul kirti, the glory of Raghukul will be, what called victim will be, will be 
polluted, defamed in the Dainese temple of Gokul. How to protect? So two sacrifice. One is sacrifice of Mother Kaitri. And the sacrifice of a Maharaj Dasarath. And Lord Ram himself, when he got the news, Lord Ram is on Tarajam, he knows everything. Oh, I am so fortunate that I have to follow both my father and mother's. Not only father's sake, I will accept this, also for mother's sake, due to this. And we will speak a few more things. So many things are there. Ramayana is full of analogy and Shastra, full of things. Every moment, every part, if you analyze, you will get so many hundreds of teachings, enlightenment. There is so much thing to learn from Ramayana. And then when Lord Ram was in the forest, that time he knew that Ravan would come. He knew this. Ravan would send the marriage in disguise as golden deer. And all these things uh, Lord Ram knew. And then Lord Ram told to Kadesi. Now time has gone. This is going to happen. But you have to remain in custody of a Agni Dev. Agni Dev. Lord Ram invited Agni Dev. And Mother Sita entered in a state with Agni Dev. And the Maya Sita was placed there in the office before our king. That's why the fire, the sacrifice, Agni Pariksha was necessary. Because the Maya illusion, illusory Sita Devi will enter in the fire and the goddess Sita with, with, there, with, with Agni Dev will come out. Who will go with Lord Ram? Ayodhya. This was necessary. That's why when you think that Lord Rama doubt, what is Sita? Why he did this? This is because of what is Sita was in the custody of Agni Dev. Ravana cannot touch even shadow of Sita Dev. What to speak of Sita? As soon as he touched the Sita Dev, he will born to ashes. Cannot touch. That's why you should know that what is Sita was never touched by Ravana. And after that, Ayodhya, uh, they came to Ayodhya. We'll speak something about Hanuman. Without Hanuman, Lord Ram's Lila is not complete. When they returned, Hanuman you know how much sacrifice he did. Bharat Bhai Kapi Se Uri Ni Havnai Tulsi Das saying to saying about Lord Ram how Lord Ram telling to brother Bharat after they return from Banvas he saying to Lord Ram saying to Bharat oh brother Bharat Kapi Se Uri Ni Havnai I cannot be I can't repay the debt of Kapi Hanuman. The way he served. He brought my message to Sita. It was impossible. Sita he was uh, burning with fire of separation. Rama was in separation. Who can be the messenger? Who can bring my message to? Only Hanuman could be. Nobody could. When Lakshman was uh, Indrajit Saktivan was wounded by that, there was no hope that I get my brother Lakshman like that. It was an impossible task. The remedy was with the Vaidya of Ravan. The Ravan's doctor only knew that how to cure this disease because that is only the secret Ravan's Vaidya knows about Indrajit's weapon. How can they recover? The only Lanka, there is nobody knows. 
and after that Ravana's Vaidya gave the remedy, oh this is Anuman fast lifted and brought him down down down. All the difficult tasks Anuman gave. He brought the whole palace and sleeping condition brought overnight in front of Lord Ram. And then he was asked, oh give the remedy, otherwise you cannot go back. You will be killed by Ravana and us together. He kept the remedy that it is the remedy available in Dandamadan Parvat in Vishalya Karani in Himalaya only. It was impossible from there go to Himalaya and come back in one night. If within that night time the remedy is not done, medicine is not given, Lakshman's life will not come back. This was impossible to me. And then Hanuman ready to do it. Everything would be impossible to ask. Why? The mercy of Lord Ram. By chanting that mercy, chanting the names of Lord Ram, Hanuman had that power. That those who are chanting Harinam, Ravana, they are intelligent. They can follow the footsteps of Hanuman. Every impossible become possible. All obstacles, all obstacles will be removed in your path. If you have devotion, like Lord Hanuman for Lord Ram. It will only can get it by chanting the names of Krishna, chanting the names of Lord Ram. And Hanuman went and brought this, that harp, which was prepared and given to Lakshma. <sighs> Lord Ram is thinking, I am thinking The time came when they all returned. Lord Ram spoke this Banavas Katha to Bharat. So many ways how Hanuman saw him. I can never uh, pay his debt, repay. So after the coronation, everything was complete. Uh, the festival was completed, Lord Ram became the king. And Sita Maya invited all the monkeys families, uh, those who assisted in the preparing the trees and the battle. All the female monkeys, all the families, whatever met in forest in the Banavas time, all were invited to Ayodhya. And after that time came now, everybody is leaving now, giving farewell. Everybody is given a gift and then going down to Lord Ram, Sita, and then leaving to enter. Time came to leave, go back, everybody. But Tom came for one month. So Anuman son came, he came, uh, the Lord Ram was thinking, what I can give to Anuman? I have no such object we can, I can give and repay Anuman. What gift I have? Lord Ram thinking, the most precious gift which I gifted to Sita, the time of marriage, the pearl necklace. He asked Sita that this should be given to Anuman. This is the most precious in my life. Ever I give first gift to. So then Sita Maya gave this to him. Lord Ram gave to Hanuman. Hanuman taking that necklace away. Still he was not happy. Started to break the necklace. Throwing the powers in the ground. Lord Ram came. It will be angry. What Hanuman you are doing? You know how dear is this necklace to Sita? How you can do this? The Numan is saying that, O oh Lord, I am checking if the pulse how my Lord Ram Sita is there or not. <coughs> Any object where there is my Ram is not there, that is no use in me. The devotees all present to oh Numan, Lord Ram is in your heart. It is you, it is you. Well, Hanuman, Chiri ke chaat hi bole aapne ni pavan putra Hanuman. Mere man mein basse hai Ram, mere tan mein basse hai. So Ram is the second. He showed everyone that Lord Ram is the present on the visit. This is Hanuman's. One thing special you should know, how he had unalloyed devotion for Lord Ram. 
Hanuman, although he knew that Lord Krishna is Ram and one with him, but his devotion was only for Lord Ram. This is a Nishtha. Nishtha is only for Prabhu, Lord Ram, not for any, even if Lord Ram himself is saying, come from the I am Krishna still. His devotion was completely one pointed on. Similarly, a devotee should follow his history. Complete. Uh, so like Hanuman, if we can, he is always ready to serve. Seva, life and soul was a service of Lord Ram. So once there was uh, in Ayodhya after this, uh, Lord Ram became the king. Everybody became busy in serving Lord Ram. Bharat, Satyavinda, Mother uh, Sita, everybody is busy in serving. The Hanuman came there, Oh brother, anything is for me, any seva for me. They told we we have no seva for you. You did everything while there, but here no seva for you. No. Here there is no seva for service for you. The Hanuman approached the Bharat Lakshmi everyone. Without service, how I will survive? I should do some seva. Seva is my life and soul. Without seva, how I will survive? They then they joke with him. No one told them, oh, you can do like this. Chutke baja baithi. No seva for you. But you got Ram taking yearning. And Jambai, the Bhagavan Ram, who Jambai are to chutke baja baithi. Chutke baja baithi Ram karna. So Jambai are not Lord Ram. Lord Ram never become yearning. So then no seva comes. And one is neglected. He sat out of the <coughs> out of the palace, sitting there, waiting, waiting, sitting, thinking. How I know when my Lord will be yearning? How I know? So started playing like this. Then again and again, Lord Ram is yearning, yearning, yearning. Ah, then oh, nobody who saw cannot take the rest, cannot take the sad, and nothing can do. Again, again and again, again, again one man is it? This. He had so power that he could control his God. Uh, it happens. So this is what we I mean, learn from Ramayana, but Ram's pastime that everything he did, ideal brother. He saw how he looked after Bharat, how his dealing was with the Lakshman, how his ideal husband. Ideal husband is not that wife is always with him. Ideal husband, he never accepted anyone in his life. Even Suparnaka came, he never, nobody else, he never accepted him other than Sita. Ideal king, ideal son. So all this ideal, Marjada, he established in Ramayana. That's why reading Ramayana, hearing Ram's pastime, Somebody follow, they will become very ideal. He can follow Varnasam Dharma. But in Varnasam Dharma, one thing. Chari Varnasam Jari Hari Nani Varnasam Chara Vata Guru Sena Parokuman. Vishnu Ara Jadir Pantha Nanyata Tosakarna Sima Bhagavatam Se. People that follow reading Ramayana. Following, oh, I should do everything, become ideal. They become ideal to their parents, very loyal, everything good. But one thing should remember if following Varnasrama, you are doing your duty, everything okay. If you don't worship <coughs> Lord Ram, if you don't worship Lord Vishnu, if you don't worship Krishna, don't do devotion, only following duty is not enough. You will be again bound. You will not be delivered in this from this world. You will be bondage of Maya. That's why you should understand that this ideal Lord Ram established the 
we should follow because he as a ideal king jad jad aadanti shreshtha tatad eva itar jana as common people they follow but how to follow following varnashrama becoming household life family life or renounce life ha uh, all duty of brahman duty of kshatriya king duty of vaishya everything we doing but varnashrama charvata doing ajaran of varnashram purushena paragaman vishnur aradhyate pantha if you cannot solve the bhagavan you should devotion you should do bhakti if you are no devotion for lord ram then whatever duty you are doing everything you will all become useless you will go to hell even following your duty chari varna same jali hari nahi bhaje so karma kari va sahi rohar pade bhaje the chari varna same following all majara etiquette everything you doing they not doing bhajan of hari not chanting ram naam not chanting krishna naam not doing bhajan everything you are doing your so karma kari va sahi or maybe doing all his karma still narake padi bhaje again still you good hai that's a very important thing that you should devotion should be He must have heard the name of Mahatma Gandhi. He wanted ideal kingdom. Always spoke about the Ram Rajya that our Bharat should be as ideal as like the Ram Rajya kingdom of Lord Ram. He wanted that. He was dreaming that. But after independence, something was wrong. Although he is speaking from Bhagavad Gita, Ramayan, everything. He never preached about Lord Ram's bhakti devotion. Only following your duty is not enough. The Prabhupada Maharaj, the great saint, you know his name. He wrote a letter to Mahatma Gandhi. He told Mahatma Gandhi, "Without Ram, how Ram Rajya will be possible?" fast establish ram in the heart of all the bharat vasi you preach about lord ram <coughs> preach about the message of bhagavad gita make everybody chant the names of lord ram establish lord ram in their heart without ram how will be ram rajya how the kingdom will be ram rajya how the without ram is not possible that's why you should preach if you neglect it There is the greatest danger waiting for you, and a few months after the war started. That's why we should not do this mission. We should not neglect the work. Even if we we are not able to follow properly, but if we are work the devotion to Lord, devotion to Krishna, then our life will be saved. Otherwise, everything we are doing we will not be able to. that the essence of the teachings is that we read ramayan we understand the idea of everything and that everything duty you will do but keeping ram in your heart keeping krishna in the center he should be center of all your activities jat karosi jat asnasi जल जुवसी ददासी जल जल तपस्यसी गोंदे तद दुरुसो मदरपण व्हाट एवर यू आर डूइंग जल करो व्हाट एवर एक्टिविटीज आर डूइंग व्हाट एवर यू आर ईटिंग व्हाट एवर यू आर गिविंग चैरिटी व्हाट एवर यू आर डूइंग अस्टेरिटी एवरीथिंग शुड बी और द फ्रूट शुड बी ऑफर्ड टू कृष्ण If you only for doing for yourself, for your body or family like this, you will be internally in Maya and will go to hell. You will not ever get peace in this life, next life. That's why the essence of all the teaching we should keep our one in our heart. We should worship him in devotion. We should cultivate the devotion, bhakti in our heart. 
and by that bhakti our life will be successful. And in this Kali Yuga, the devotional service, the easy way, how to begin our devotion, is start chanting Harinam. In the beginning we chanted so much Harinam. By chanting the names of Krishna, chanting the names of Bhagavan, the only way in Kali Yuga we can save ourselves. The essence of Ramayana, Bede Ramayana Saiva, Purani Bharati Tatha, Ado Chante Chamadheja Hari Sarva Tapiyati. Bede Ramayana Saiva, Purani Bharati means Mahavarati. Every scripture telling one thing. Ado Chante Chamadheja in beginning, in middle, and end. Hari Sarva Tapiyati. Only glories of Lord Hari, glories of Bhagavan. That's why Bhagavan's Kirtan is the only way any scripture we read, any scripture, the essence is chanting Hari Nam, glorifying Bhagavan, hearing Krishna Katha, Krishna Nam, and reciting Krishna Nam. This is the essence of all our Vedic literature. So we should learn, chant Hari Nam and make our life successful. हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे